Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host Mundane, and this video is part of my favorite series, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite PlayStation games. The Sony PlayStation is one of the systems I was a little bit late in adopting. I had taken a break from spending money on video games and didn't get into the PlayStation until a little bit late. I think it was uh, 95 or 97 when I got back into it. So I was in high school at the time and spending money on other things. And, and I, I just didn't really have time to play video games until later. But here are some of my favorite PlayStation games that are not in any particular order. Just some of the ones that I have very fond memories of and I still enjoy to this day. So first up we have Battle Hunter, released in 1999 by Age Tech. This is one of the later PlayStation games that came out towards the end of the life of the system. And it was one of the more budget titles. I think it was originally a $20 title when it first came out. And it was really surprising to me and my me and my friends. What would what we would do is we would get together and play this game and it was turn based and multiplayer so that you could just hand one controller around all the time. But it was a board game that was kind of a dungeon crawl as well, where you would go through and you would do things like try to get equipment and money to upgrade your stats and stuff like that and if you died, it was really punishing for you because you would just have to pay to re regen all of your health and stuff like that. And it was kind of a punishing game, but that's why we liked it. And you ran around on a grid and, and stuff, and you drew cards, and you would roll dice to get results and play cards to modify those dice rolls. And it's a lot of fun. I've Still to this day, I've just had more fun playing it than just trying to go through and beat the game. One day I do plan on beating it, but probably not anytime soon. Next up we have Tetmo's Deception, released by Tetmo in 1996. This game is not for kids. The plot is not for kids, and it's a little bit on the violent side, but just to give you a little bit of background, growing up I played Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, and one of the books that me and my friends would always love to read is Grimtooth Traps. And these were these ridiculous traps that were just extraordinarily deadly and very over the top and stuff like that. And that's essentially what you get to create in this game, but it's more of a darker tone than a comical tone. But while I was playing the game, I always kept the comical tone in my ma in my mind, where suddenly you know a vase of oil drops down on a guy, and then suddenly he gets knocked off a set of stairs or, or something like that into the floor, and then the floor catapults the guy up and gets and he gets like thrown into you know uh, into a fireplace and. You know, yes, it's a little bit of violent, but it's, you know, animated kind of comical violence in my mind. You know, where you, I would keep, a, you know, Looney Tunes or something like that in mind where I, when I was doing this. And there is a lot of strategy to this game. It's really a lot of fun, but like I said, it is definitely not for kids. Uh, next up we have Einhander by Squaresoft, released 1997. I think this is the only shmup that Squaresoft has released, and I'm really hoping that they release a second one, a follow-up to this game. The music is wonderful, the artwork is great, the, the way that the game plays and how you can adapt things and move around, the difficulty is wonderful. It's just a really, really good side-scrolling shmup, and I think it's starting to raise up in price a little bit because the game's getting a little bit more attention. I know that Radical Reggie has actually gone through and live-streamed the game a couple of times, and it's it's not easy, 
you definitely need to be on top of your game and know how to to manipulate the weapons in that game so that you can do what you need to do. Next up we have Ghost in the Shell by THQ, released 1997. Now this game is definitely based on the animated movie that was put out. And this oh, I'm talking about the, I think it was like 94, it was, it was in the 90s. You know, one of the old school animes. It is not based on the newer television show or the newer movie or anything like that. It's based on the old school stuff where you basically get to run around in a tachikoma, uh, which is the spider tank, and just jump across things and fire at things. It's really well done. It's a beautiful game. There's a couple of spots where the game gets really, really difficult, but you know, other than that, you know, it's it's a great game, and you should definitely sit down and, and just give it a chance. If it is, if it's up your alley, you're going to have a blast. But you can definitely tell whether or not this is going to be for you or a game for you or not, probably within the first 30 minutes or so. One of my favorite games is Intelligent Cube, released by Sony Interactive Entertainment in 1997. The music, you know, the gameplay is simple. You know, you go through, you eliminate blocks, or at least the concept is simple. Then you get into more, some more of the advanced things, like you, you can't get rid of the black blocks. You can't, you need to use the green blocks to, to destroy things in a particular pattern, or you have to wait to get past things, and then you have to walk through areas and stuff like that. And I've never been able to fully beat this game, and, you know, if you asked me, I thought it would go on forever and just be an algorithm that just generates new levels over and over again, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case, but it's a wonderful game. It shouldn't be too expensive, but, you know, it's just a great game, and you have a lot of fun with it. And I'm pretty sure none of you are surprised by one of my, the last game on this list is Final Fantasy Tactics, released by Squaresoft in 1997. I love the tactics world. I can't say enough about it. You know, it's, it's one of my favorite combat systems. I've played the game, I've played multiple versions of the game, and even the continuations of the game and stuff where it got released on the Game Boy Advance. It's a great game. It should be fairly cheap, and you know, for being a final, an older Final Fantasy game on a on an older system, it's not in that much of a high demand. But it's got a lot of really good, rich history, and the combat system is just wonderful. Well, that's it for this episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host, Mundane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.